Hello and welcome to Newsworthy Stories with Jacqueline Jimenez. I am a television and social media news coverage consultant and author of How to Get Television News Coverage. It's easier than you might think. And the reason why I wrote the book is because I realize most people don't understand what newsrooms consider newsworthy. Otherwise, they would send more stories to the newsroom. One of the things that I often do is I usually share stories about, you know, coverage that I've been getting because I, I help businesses and nonprofits uh, in particular get either local, national, or international news coverage, as well as produce news stories for their social media sites. And one thing I don't share as often is the fact that um, I also do media consulting. And as a media consultant, what I want to tell, what I generally tell people is how the media helps them with personal branding. How are you making your mark in the community, in your industry? And generally speaking, the easiest way to get your name out there is through the media. And this is what I, I want you to understand. Let me give you this picture. If Let's look at McDonald's and Wendy's hamburgers, right? <laughs> um, if I asked you who is the founder of McDonald's um, before the Netflix uh, came out on who the founder of McDonald's is, most people didn't know who he or she is. But if I ask you who is the founder of Wendy's, it's an easier question to answer because the answer is Dave Thomas, right? He was in every commercial. I'm Dave Thomas, you know, of Wendy's. And so if you're building up a brand, but only building up a brand or a logo, and people are not connecting you to that brand, then you're really selling yourself short. And it's one of the things that many people don't realize. They're so busy doing their business, doing the work that they, you know, have strived to do or getting the marketing, you know, they think marketing is about just getting your name out, but it's really how you get your name out that makes the difference. How, you know, I try to share with people the difference between a commercial and a, a story. People will, you know, if you have the choice and you have taped a show, you're going to scroll through the commercials more than likely. You're not going to just watch every commercial because you're just going to, oh, I got to know what that commercial is going to say. However you will wait to see a story. And so one of the things I, I do is I look for the elements, not only in your business, people wanna know about who you are. How did you get there? Uh, people are intrigued by uh, the elements that are surrounding you, the clients that you serve. Sometimes your stories are in your clients and people wanna hear and learn about that and they wanna learn how you're helping them. How have you made a difference in people's lives? And so we do that through a regular basis. This is stuff you're already doing in your business. It's not like a whole campaign you have to create. My job is to listen to you <laughs> primarily. And I, I listen for the elements that are news elements, the elements that create human interest, the elements that sell stories, if you will, because I always tell people, News doesn't make money. They only spend money. Their news stories are their product. Uh, they actually operate really like a nonprofit in many ways because um, like nonprofits, um, they have a sponsor and their sponsors are their commercials, if you will. And those commercials pay for the programming and everything else that goes along with it. And so advertising is very important. And that's why you see so much advertising in, in between the commercials, because the story itself is the product and the story is not something you can sell. However, for news and a producer, it's my job to sell that story to the community, to make it interesting, engaging, uh, impactful, so that you'll want to keep watching to the next story and to the next story. And that's what you want to do on social media as well is you want to make sure your stories are engaging. So when it comes to making your mark through the media, you have to understand that no one who is famous, well-known, either in their industry or in, in the world, was known without the media. 
And I'd like to let that, you know, sink in a little bit. How do we know all these famous people? Well, it's through social media. It's through digital media. It's through newspapers. It's through radio. It's through television. But And it's through the local news stations that share their stories. So take ABC or NBC, any of them, CBS, Fox, any of them. Well, we have a feed in the newsroom um, of different stories that all the ABC affiliates have, you know, around the nation, even the world, you know. And we look through those feeds and we look for stories that we think will be interesting to the community that we're serving. And a lot of times we look for those human interest stories. And so um, those stories, we are very teasable. And so we like to find stories that people will wait to watch. And so we try to share how those stories will, you know, are impacting. And so that's what I do. I look for in your business, in your nonprofit, in your church, your agency, organization, whatever it is, I look for the elements that are most teasable. And people will connect that whatever it is you're doing in the community to impact the community or to bring awareness or to share a trend that's going on, they will see that as um, as a benefit. They're like, wow, this person is not just selling this, but they're impacting our community in this way. And so that builds up to your personal brand. And so anything that puts you out in the community through the media, it automatically starts to build a customer loyalty to you because they see you outside of your company. And that's one of the things that I just want to share with you today because, yes, people are really like the stories I produce or they like when um, I'm able to get them news coverage. But my job, really, my point of newsworthy stories was not to be there to cover every story or to produce every story. My intention is to teach you how to do it uh, so that you can take it to your staff uh, to teach your marketing teams how to do it and to teach you as a business owner and not even a business owner. If you're an expert in your field, um, I have been training experts in their field who have been helping companies you know, succeed how to build your personal brand through the through the through the media, especially social media, because the impact that these news stories for social media have been have having has just really, you know, been astounding to me. Even you know, I just even when I started doing it, I didn't realize the impact it would have, and how um, how many people would watch them, and how many people would engage with them, and how many people would do the same thing with my stories as if it were coming from the local news. So I appreciate that, you know, but now I'm really going to make sure I'm out there sharing that even if you're an expert in your field, it's important to be able to offer your services in a consulting format. Um, and so you should build a website for yourself just to say who you are just to say, I can offer these consulting services, um, just to make yourself available, to make yourself available as a speaker. If you're an expert, you should have, a, you should have, you should have your own website. And just to let people know that you're available to speak on this issue. You could be available to speak as an expert in a news story. But again, it's through the media, social media, television media, radio you know, media. All of that works to help you in your personal brand and why it's important. Some, some people say, I, you know, I don't want to be known. Well, you really do want to be known because the more that you are known, the more opportunities that you will get to do the things that you love, to share the things that you love. Um, John Maxwell, uh, for the first time I heard him uh speak and i didn't you know i'd seen his books he does a great job you know i knew he wrote books and things like that but to actually hear him i'm saying to myself i need to hear more of those sound bites all over social media because those sound bites that he gives and the instructions that he gives 
uh, I think he would draw more people even to himself um, so that he can do more because that's his whole premise. I want to I want to impact more so I can do more. I want to be more visible so I can do more. And that's the, that is the concept. I mean, John Maxwell, you know, you might have heard his books, but if his sound bites were rolling on LinkedIn all the time or, you know, or in, in places where business owners exist, um, that would be very impactful and for him and the people he's trying to reach. So I just want to drop my personal branding <laughs> note in there because that is something that I teach regularly because uh, I deal with a lot of businesses who are impacting the community. And what will happen is you'll begin to be um, a leader in your community, a leader in the state, a le leader in the nation, and then beyond. And the more you're in the media, the more people will see you, uh, the more people will come to you because they'll th you, they will know that you are the person, you will be the go-to person in your industry, and the more people you will be able to impact. And so um, one of the things that I you can do is I have that handbook, you know, how to get television news coverage. It's easier than you might think. If you go to my website, uh, which is actually newsworthystory.com. Uh, I'm Newsworthy Stories, but the website is newsworthystory.com. And you can click on the, the tab that's on my website that, that has the book on it. And it'll take you to this page, which is Book Baby. And there's a See Inside tab at the bottom corner um, on the right-hand side. If you click on it, you can open it up open up the book and it'll let you flip and see a few of the pages inside. So you can read through the entire index as well as uh, some of the, you know, some of the beginning pages. And you'll start to see, you know, where you're going to go in this handbook that you can read in 40, 40 minutes because it's actually designed uh, for you to read it in 40 minutes uh, or less but be and refer to it regularly. So if you're at the beginning of the story, the beginning of the book talks about the elements that every story should have, or this elements in particular, a news producer would be looking for. So that when, the, when you're pitching that story, then those are the things that are going to stand out because those are the most teasable elements. Those teasable elements work for social media as well. So when you're creating social media posts, you're going to want to know, um, what elements to put in it. So if you go again to my website, newsworthystory.com and click on my book, it'll take you to this page. Uh, the book, book baby is my um, publisher and that's where I published it. So go there, click on the book, read the pages, and then you'll get a better idea of why this book is very helpful. Of course, I have my workshops. If you go to my website, you can see the upcoming workshops as well. But, um, you know, that's that's what I recommend. What is not on my website are the media consulting um, sessions. And if you want to have a media consulting session, just go to the contact page and say, I'm interested in a media consulting session. And I can help you pick out the elements. I can help you see outside of yourself because it's hard to see who, who everyone else sees and the elements that need to be brought out as to who you are. And so I can help you do that. And I have a lot of fun doing it. I enjoy it. Uh, but it's fun to help people see who they are and where they want to go and, you know, and learn the things that you're really looking to champion, but you haven't mentioned it anywhere, you know, to anyone. So how can anyone know, right? So that's what I do is I bring that out. And I look forward to um, helping you do that. I am Jacqueline Jimenez. Thanks for joining Newsworthy Stories with Jacqueline Jimenez. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks so much.